All right, folks, um, this uh, video was going to go over the instructions for completing one of the assignments in Module 4. Uh, the title of the assignment is Drug Signs and Symptoms. And so I have the, uh, the course open here, and I've already opened it into the Module section. And you can see in Module 4, Toxicology, there's an assignment uh, titled uh, Drug Signs and Symptoms Assignment. I'm going to go ahead and click on that assignment. And I want to to show you how to actually complete that assignment. Uh, as we click on it, you can see the instructions for the assignment. Um, it tells you that for this particular assignment, you're going to be learning about drugs. Uh, in particular, you're going to learn a little bit more about drug categories, uh, what drugs uh, look like, how they're consumed, and a little bit of their associated symptomology. Uh, to complete the assignment, you're going to actually click on a link uh, within the instructions that says Assignment Worksheet. And when you click on that, I've actually already clicked on it, and opened up the assignment worksheet, you're going to see that a Google Sheets um, document opens up uh, titled Signs and Symptoms. Uh, if you remember, um, you're going to have to uh, copy this sheet because when you open it for the first time, it's going to be a view-only document, uh, meaning you can't make edits. Um, so what you're going to have to do is make a copy of this sheet and then make edits and then, uh, and then send that to me. Um, so to fill out this particular uh, Google Worksheet, you can see that uh, we have on this Google Worksheet one, two, three, four, five, six different drugs listed. Uh, so the far left column is the drug. Uh, the next column, which you're going to start to fill out, is drug category. The next column you need to fill out is introduction, drug form, toxic dose, metabolite, and symptoms. Uh, let's fill out a couple of these boxes together in here in the instructions, and then I'll let you fill out the rest of them yourselves as you complete the assignment. So, for example, uh, one of the drugs we're going to learn about is marijuana. So, uh, the first question is, what category of drug is marijuana? Well, categories of drugs include hallucinogens, they include stimulants, uh, depressants, uh, steroids, um, rave drugs, and uh, opiates or narcotic drugs. Well, marijuana happens to be a hallucinogenic drug or a hallucinogen. So what you would type in the category boxes, you would type in um, hallucinogen or hallucinogenic. So that's its type. Uh, so you'd need to figure out, you know, what category of drug is methamphetamine and type that in, what category of drug is heroin, so on and so forth. Uh, in the column marked introduction, uh, what you're going to type in this column is, uh, if a person were consuming this drug, how would they introduce it into their body? Uh, how would they consume it? Uh, for example, would they smoke it, or would they snort it, or would they inject it, or would they inhale it? Um, some drugs, there's going to be more than one method of introduction. You can list uh, all of them, but as long as you at least at least the most common one. So, for example, with marijuana, we know that the most common method of introduction for marijuana is most people smoke it. So in the, in the column uh, for introduction, uh, I'm going to type in uh, smoke. All right. Uh, the column titled drug form. What do I mean by drug form? What I mean by drug form is uh, if, you had a, if a person was arrested and they had a bag uh, in their pocket that had the drugs in it, what would the drugs look like? For example, would the drugs look like uh, crushed up plant material? Uh, would the drugs look like a, a pill? Uh, would they be in a powder form or a crystalline substance? Would they be a liquid, for example, something that might be injected? Or even are they in a canister that a person might inhale or huff? Well, we know, of course, that marijuana drug form would be um, uh, ground up plant material. So you could just put plant material um, in, in the box for drug form. All right, what about the, docs, the, the box titled toxic dose? Toxic dose would be... How much of that drug would a person need to consume to actually, for it to be lethal, for them to die? Now, a toxic dose could be measured, uh, if it was a liquid, for example, it could be measured in milliliters or potentially in fluid ounces. For example, in alcohol, uh, a toxic dose would be, for example, how many ounces? Um, but if you were talking about a toxic dose of methamphetamine, methamphetamine, which usually comes in a crystal or powder form, you're going to be talking about it in terms of weight. So a, a toxic dose in that situation would probably be measured in uh, milligrams uh, or potentially uh, pounds or ounces. So toxic dose. Now keep in mind, not all drugs uh, have a toxic dose. For example, you may be surprised to find out that there is no such thing as a toxic dose of marijuana. So uh, you were to smoke uh, 10 marijuana cigarettes, for example, 10 joints, 
uh, that's not going to be toxic. Um, so in the case of a drug not being, uh, not having a toxic dose, you just put not applicable. Um, if we found out that the toxic dose of the drug was, let's say, 10 milligrams, then of course we would just type in 10 milligrams in that column. Now, metabolite. What does that mean by metabolite? Well, like most things that you put in your body, uh, when you put them in your body, your body typically changes or metabolizes the substance. For example, uh, when you eat uh, things like uh, starches, let's say breads or potatoes, one of the first things that happens is your body begins to break down those starches into simple sugars, uh, which are then more easily absorbed into your bloodstream. Uh, oftentimes when we consume uh, drugs, as soon as we put the drug in our body, the, the body begins to change it into something else. And what that, the body changes it into is referred to as a metabolite. Um, so for example, I'm not going to tell you the metabolite of, meth, of marijuana, but I will tell you the metabolite of heroin. Heroin happens to be a narcotic drug, and like most narcotic drugs, uh, it is an opioid, meaning that it is derived from the opium plant. Um, and heroin is actually very much like morphine in terms of its chemical structure. In fact, actually, when a person injects heroin into their body, the first thing that the body does when the heroin is found in the bloodstream is the body actually changes the heroin into morphine which the body can then process and has a, an analgesic or pain relieving effect. So if we were testing a drug user's blood to see if they were using drugs, we wouldn't actually be looking for the heroin in their bloodstream. We'd actually be looking for morphine. And so the, the metabolite of heroin is actually morphine. Uh, so that's what metabolite is. Now keep in mind, some, some drugs will have a metabolite and some drugs won't. Uh, if the drug uh, doesn't have a metabolite, then you would just put, again, NA or not applicable in that column. All right, this last column, which is symptoms. Symptoms is uh, if, if a person were observing a person that had taken drugs, uh, what sort of behaviors or what sort of um, characteristics about their body would we observe that would show that they had taken a particular drug? Um, for example, uh, all police officers are actually trained to identify the symptomology of consuming alcohol. Uh, so police officers know that when a person consumes alcohol, some of the symptomology we see includes things like slurred speech. Um, we see things like horizontal gaze nystagmus, which is a, kind of a bouncing of the eyeballs. Certainly we see um, loss of, of major motor skills and fine motor skills, so we see that people stumble, uh, things like that. So those are all examples of symptoms of alcohol. Well, what are some of the symptoms of other drugs? Well, for example, marijuana. Uh, what is the symptom of marijuana use? Well, um, we know that with marijuana use, uh, one of the symptoms that's pretty common is uh, bloodshot eyes. So when a person uh, consumes marijuana, they get bloodshot eyes. Another one that everyone's always uh, aware of is that people get the munchies. Now, we're not going to type munchies in symptoms, but we could say increased appetite. And there are others, like paranoia is another uh, common symptom when a person smokes marijuana. So anyway, what you do is type, you know, one, two, maybe three uh, symptoms that you can see. One is sufficient, but if you can think of others or if you find others in literature, go ahead and type in the symptoms of, of, of the drugs. So anyway, uh, you're going to go ahead and fill out the rest of this Google Sheet when you're done uh, filling out the rest of the Google Sheet. Then you're going to save it. You're going to copy the URL. Uh, for this Google Sheet, and then you're going to submit it to me in the text entry box for the assignment. So anyway, this is the signs and symptoms uh, exercise and the instructions on how to complete it.